All right. Um, we kind of want to go to the tower to talk to Kohoku and Gareth. So let's go there. The elevator to the tower is nearby. Do you have something to say about the relay monument? This statue shows how well the Protheans blended function and form. The mass relays were not only their greatest technological achievement, but also inspiration for beautiful works of art. That's one way to look at it. Still kind of an interesting set piece here. Let's take this elevator. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. And that's another news item we've already heard. This is pretty hopeless, isn't it? Okay, now we have to inform poor Gareth that his brother Willem is dead. He probably won't like that news, but I think he's better off knowing the truth. And we have to tell Kohoku equally bad news about his marines. Is that all we're doing right now? Delivering bad news? Any news? Did you find my brother yet? You can, I think, choose to uh, lie, say that you didn't find him, but still, I think it's better that he knows the truth. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Well, that was jolly. And let's talk to um, Kahoku. We're still waiting to talk to the uh, counselor's assistant, apparently. Doesn't he have anything better to do? No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. We didn't really get any closer to learning anything about Baines. I don't think we are going to get any closer to learning anything about Baines, but anyway. There's uh, someone else standing there, whom we know, Emily Wong. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Why not? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. She's wearing a different dress, which I think makes her the only uh, character in the entire game who changes clothes over the course of the game. 
Not counting uh, Shepard and his squad changing armors, of course. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Let's see what's uh, going on here. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? That usually is the only thing that gets real action taken, but anyway. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. Seems like a worthy cause. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Alright. New assignments. Planting the bug. We should plant the bug in the Citadel Traffic Control Center, which we've already visited, and it is in CSEC. And I'm done trying to get conversations out of elevators, so let's just use Rapid Transit. So, back to CSEC. And the traffic control office is up the stairs. And past Chelik's office here, and up another pair of stairs. So this location does serve another purpose except for a couple of codex entries and a, scan and a keeper to scan. Inconspicuous location. Let's plant the bug. And then we have to inform Emily, who is back in the Citadel Tower. So we go back there. Don't you just love assignments that make you needlessly run around the entire station? Oh well, thanks to uh, Rapid Transit, this is not going to take very long. And then there's one other thing that I want to do before we move on and leave the Citadel again. Um, we need to go to the tower. And let's inform Emily that we put the bug where she wanted us to. I'm already getting readings! This is gonna make a great story! Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. Great! That finishes that assignment. We're helping people, as usual. So... At least she's a lot nicer than that old Jelani person. Let's, um... Go to the markets. Down in the wards. Because an old friend has returned. 
Conrad Werner. Has he gotten a refund yet? Can we get him to talk again? This is an approved purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you, then I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here! How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. Nope, he's not having much luck, is he? Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? Oh, great. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. There's a lot going on right now. Is there something I can do for you? This will be fast. I just wanted you to know what a big fan I am, and I was wondering if I could get a picture. Ah, <sighs> first an autograph, now a picture. Well, if it helps get rid of him. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Great. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Sure. Okay. I hope whatever he has isn't contagious. Well, while we're here, let's check out these markets. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Let's see. He has a cipher tool. Five Omni tool. That gives me shield bonus. And tech cooldown bonus. Also, an, an, ex an additional Medigel upgrade. That could be useful. I don't know, I'm gonna see if the merchant downstairs has something better before I commit to buying an Omni tool here. Yes, human, you need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. He has a grenade upgrade. But no Omni tools at all. Oh, uh, in which case, I think I'll... Uh, survive with the one I have. None of the ones that they have on offer here offer significant enough benefits for me to uh, really think they're worth buying. I will probably find one somewhere sometime. Anyhow, that means it is time to return to the Normandy. I think there is one more new assignment you could do here. But we'll uh, come back here later again. So we'll do those then. So back to CSEC and back to the docking bay. So we can once again leave and return to do some uncharted assignments. Before moving on with the mission before we forget we had a mission. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. I think we heard that before as well. Maybe we should try and deal with that to prevent this guy from repeating himself again. Are we there yet? Yes, 
as we are. We have lots to do. So let's go and do it. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. And the rest of the crew is probably relieved about that too. Alright. Time for us to once again leave the Citadel. And go and do some more missions.